from PS99 3-120. We're going to make Italian meatballs. We have one half of onion, one half cilantro, and one half pound of beef. Okay, so is that a half cup of onion? A half cup. And a half cup of cilantro? Yes. And one and a half pounds of ground beef? Yes. Did you chop up the onions? Yes. Good job. And what's this here? Th this is salt and this is pepper. One teaspoon. I think it's cumin. See how it's not dark like pepper? Oh. So that's one half teaspoon of cumin and salt. one half teaspoon of salt. All right, so what, how are you going to make this? First, we put in the salt. Then we put the pepper or cumin. We dump the onions. Then the cilantro. And then we mix it up like this. Right. But first you have to wash your hands, Great. like I did. We mix it up like this. If you're here, you could you could smell something spicy. Now what if I don't like cilantro? Could I use it with parsley instead? Could I put yes. parsley? Or basil. If you don't like onions, you could put anything you want. You could put anything you want in it, like um, pepper. So I could add some black pepper, maybe like a quarter yes. teaspoon. Yes. Quarter teaspoon of black pepper if you want to add pepper. And if we don't like onions, we could leave those out and maybe put up some chopped tomato instead. Yes, or mushroom. Yep, chopped mushroom too. But if you put the mushroom, it would come out as meatloaf balls. Like meatloaf balls, mmm. Okay. We have to get all the onions on it. I think sometimes you have to like pick up the meat a little bit and turn it over. There you go. You have to get really in there and mix it all in together. You gotta stir a lot. Now, could you make this into really big fat meatballs or just small meatballs? Any shape you want. And how do you like to have your meatballs? With? Uh, tomato sauce. So, we have some Barilla tomato sauce and we're going to cook them after we're going to fry them in the pan and then we're going to cook them in the tomato sauce. And you could also serve it over spaghetti, right? We're still mixing. It's almost ready. Now, how do you recommend shaping them? Do you, like maybe you put a little water on your hands first before you shape them? Yes. That helps, right? So that way the meat doesn't stick to your hands. So when you finish mixing it all together, you wet your hands with a little bit of water and then you can shape your meatball. And you wanna make sure they're all about the same size so they cook evenly. So, how much did you put in your hand? I think one, like, one Maybe half. a quarter cup, quarter cup of meat. And now you're shaping them. Okay, now, you want them all the same size, so that one's a little bit bigger. What are you gonna do? Pinch it off some? There you go. Make some more. You want them all the same size, so you're gonna roll them and shape them. And we have them on a separate plate, and then we'll heat them up in our saucepan over medium high heat. Do we need to put olive oil in the pan or any oil in the pan beforehand? No. no. Why is that? Do you know why? It doesn't really stick. It doesn't stick because if you look at the ground beef, let me show. Other than those little white balls of, or white specks of onion, you see all the white? That's the fat in the meat. And when the fat cooks, it's very greasy, and that means it won't stick to the pan. So we don't need to put any oil in our pan 
Okay, now we have to make some small because there's not enough space. So, like that one is small. Well, how about we start cooking these? Yeah, let's cook these cook and we can finish first. making the rest. So let's show everybody how to cook them first, okay. and then we can do the rest. First, so let's we put these on the grill. We put the tomato sauce in there if we want it or we don't want it. How about we cook these first? So we have on our pan, it's been, let's make sure it's hot enough. Yeah, it's hot it's hot enough? Does it feel hot? I feel steam. Okay. Hot. So. This one's frozen, so I should put it. Okay, go ahead. All right, you hear the sizzle? It means it's ready. Oh, there's a hair in here. So I'll get, get it out. out. Okay, now the small one. Alright, so how long do you think these are going to take to cook? Like two or three minutes. On each side? Um, one minute. One minute each side. Okay. Thank you, honey. Alright, so we have the big ones in the frying pan. And we're going to cook them. So they get golden brown on the bottom, and then we'll flip them yeah. over. Okay, my sister wants to help. Okay. And we have a little powder. Okay, I can see can it. Please, John. Wait, can you put our face in it so you can see her? Hello. Okay, so now. Do you think we should add the spaghetti sauce to the pan in the back so it can start to heat up too? Yeah, the pot in there. I'm adding the pasta sauce to the pan in the back, just a little bit. I'm going to wash my hands. Next time we try that. Okay. We're going to eat it together. We, we have the done stick. Now we're starting to say mommy. Not yet, we gotta wait. It'll take a while to cook. Okay, now we're gonna have the back burner for the spaghetti sauce on high or low? Low. Alright, do you think they're ready to flip over? How's Amy? You wanna try and turn these over a little bit? Yes, I make hot dogs and hamburgers for my sister and me. So, this is how you do it. You get the back. See? This is how we usually make them. Don't let too much in Chloe. Because they're hot for me. See? Okay. We're going to put this one and that small one into the sauce. Okay. Now, is it cooking for maybe five minutes? Like, you turn it around? Like a little less, like four, three, something like that. And you kept turning it, right? To make sure yes. it was cooked in the middle. Now this one's a little bit bigger, so we're going to let it keep cooking because it's got to get cooked in the middle. Okay. And we're going to simmer them in the sauce. How long are you going to cook it in the sauce for? I think five minutes is good. And then you can eat it alone like that, right? Or you can put it over pasta. How do you like it? Alone. All right. So we're going to add the rest of the meatballs to the sauce, and then we'll show you how to eat it and enjoy it. Okay. We usually eat it with bread, or you could eat it with pasta. But you dip the bread into the sauce, or you could dip the bread into the meatball and eat it, to, eat it with the meatball. You want to show us the meatball? These the sauce? are the meatballs and the sauce. Is it delicious? Yes. Do you love it? Yes. Bye bye. <laughs>